right, all right, I'm coming. I know, I know. I need to go ahead and give you guys your carrots for breakfast. There you go, little cottons. Just eating me out of house and home with all of those carrots, I'm telling you what. <laughs> oh, you know what? I wonder what a cotton ringtail slime might look like. That might be a little bit of slime science that we'll have to do as an experiment sometime soon. But hello everyone and welcome. Welcome back to the Conservancy here in Slime Rancher 2, where we're getting ready for what is hopefully going to be a very special and very exciting mission. Because today, friends, we are once more going to go ahead and and, uh, send ourselves all the way over to where that crystal slime is and we are going to do our freaking best to try to go ahead and feed him a or it I should say a enough of the vegetables that we can find out what it is hiding because if we have learned anything it is that the gordos actually are hiding like really cool things um we got all the gordos on this side yeah we got all the gordos on this island that we found so far at least I mean there's mysteries abound but let's go ahead and answer the mail from our friends real quick and then we'll see how we want to proceed from here. Who's calling? Oh, it's Mochi. So Mochi and Thora. B, I've been trying to get a hold of you. I've analyzed one of the drones you've been finding all over the island, and I know why it seems so familiar to me. It's mine, or at least it's one that I've seen before, in my dreams anyway. Oh dear, <laughs> are we going to start getting kind of inception-y on this? After I looked at the scans I took of it, I knew it was familiar to me, so I began looking through some old slime science journals of mine. These journals are mostly future projects, but sometimes they're speculative technology. You know me, I'm always thinking six steps ahead to keep Mochi Tech on top of the industry. Well, sometimes I come up with the impossible, stuff that I may never engineer in my lifetime. Well, those drones you're finding are exactly that. Impossible with te today's technology, and taken right from the pages of my journals. There's something I saw in a dream, B. So how did a, a bunch of impossible drones I designed in a dream find their way from the pages of my journals to Rainbow Island? She looks so mad somebody stole Mochi's dreams. Maybe. Maybe there's some kind of archive in them we can unlock to learn more. I know they contain data logs, but if it were me... Well, I always know how to find a way of uh, how to find a way of holding back what I need to do. Okay, B, I need some time to think on this. I'll let you know if I come up with anything. Maybe I'll sleep on it. Hmm, that's fine. Mystery deepening. Hi, Thora. How's the farm? Hi, Abby. How's life out there on Rainbow Island? Gosh, it's even fun to say. Must be a hoot. You know, ever since I heard you were off doing something new, I got to thinking about my own life and. What's the next new for me? Hobson and I have both seen and done so much in our lives. Been one adventure after another across this dusty rock. And ever since we've become acquainted, we haven't slowed down one bit. So we're looking to take a new adventure, together. But we just haven't figured out what or where. Maybe we go exploring some hidden nook of the far, far range like you. Or even set our sights on the stars like Hobson has done before. This is adorable, but I wonder if Thora just calling us because she's lonely. <laughs> Whatever we decide to do, it'll be all the more special because we'll be sharing it this time with each other. It's that part that makes it all the more exciting. Yes, rub into our face that, uh, you know, the whole arc of the last Slime Rancher was the fact that we're alone and we have broken up with our girlfriend. <laughs> it's so hard to find someone in this world that fits you completely. Such a rare thing. Like finding two identical snowflakes in the desert. Okay, that's, a again, beautiful. Uh, A. B. Uh, technically, like, yes, this world in particular, because it's full of slimes, uh, but we also have other alternative worlds, so maybe universe would be better? But I love the metaphor. I know you feel that more than I can say. Yeah, thanks. I ain't ever losing sight of just how lucky I am, B. I want to use the gifts the universe has seen fit to give me. Keep your head up, girl. We'll chat again soon. Wow. Yeah. That may- that was- just feeling peachy. Just remembering that we're just alone in the universe. Thanks. The odds of finding someone new are like finding two identical snowflakes in the desert. I appreciate that, Thora. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Also, we do have a hint hint overpopulation problem in here that I am definitely going to need to do something about. 
I I don't want to address it until I really have to. Because I, I, I think I know in my heart what I need to do. And I really don't want to I really don't want to think about it. But we'll, we'll, we'll come to that when the time comes, okay? For now, let's go ahead and collect up all of these water lettuce. And then we're going to have quite the salad to go ahead and offer up to that uh, mysterious Gordo that is sitting on top of something I want. And I'm going to leave the odd onions, though, with the crystal slimes so that they can have some of their favorite food. Hi, guys. Oh, little crystal slimes. Here you go. Maybe the fatty slimes will end up eating the plorts that way. Also, where's my chickadoo? <gasps> She's all grown up! Ash is a girl, you guys! Whoop, and here we go! Alright! So I've been thinking about calling these guys maybe, like, meteors? Because they can actually fly and they're, like, crystals? I'm gonna sit with the name, but, like, meteor slimes was my thought. Because flying crystals sound like meteors to me. Wow, that's shiny. Oh man, that's almost painfully shiny. Okay, I'm gonna- I can't believe I need to wear sunglasses like in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, little friend. You guys managed to get loose on me, huh? Is that because uh, you didn't have enough food? I'm really sorry about that. I'm literally trying to provide you your favorites. Let's come here, little guy. Let's get you two back in where you belong. Um, and maybe a little nice air net. I had no idea they could use their internal combustion to go ahead and launch themselves out. So we're going to do that. Oh, my money. Oh, my money. It hurts. It hurts right in the wallet. Uh, but we'll grab the crystal forts and I'll give them a couple more. Oh, okay. We'll eat the crystal forts. I'll give them a couple more odd onions and collect the carrots for that big old Gordo King we're gonna go see. All right, and then, uh, odd onion, odd onion. Okay, they've got, they've got some. It isn't a lot, but it's all I can offer right now because I need all of these carrots. This is probably more food than we technically need, but I wanna make sure we get this done. All right, meanwhile, Ash, you go ahead and stay here. It looks like you're gonna get along just fine with the new, man, meteor is not really doing it for me. I want something that acknowledges the fact that they are indeed bat slime mixes and crystal slimes. Hmm, I keep all those suggestions coming, you guys, because seriously, like this is, this is the essence. This is the heart of what pixel biology means. Really investigating new species and trying to figure out just where the future of like, oh, another message, wow. Where the future of pixel biology science is going to go. Who is calling me now? Aha. Uh -huh. Special delivery. <gasps> Look at the little chicken on top of the hat. Have a great chickens. Thin cave pillar. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, apparently Bob is just like happy. Maybe, maybe he's reformed and no longer eats chickens. We'll have to find out. Also, I find it interesting how we go back and forth on calling them chickens or calling them hen hens. It's intriguing to me. Aha. Sorry, friend. Don't worry, more wild carrots will grow. Oh, there's definitely stuff up there. We'll definitely have to check that out. For now, come on, memory. Come on. Come on, memory. Okay, maybe, maybe memory, memory didn't fail me this time. Yes. All right, and we'll go ahead and collect the jelly stone that's right here real quick. It's really, I wonder if we're gonna be able to like get the machine that helps us to just kind of find these things on our own ranch or like out in the wild again. Cause it is a little tricky to go ahead and like remember where the, the nodes are to collect, at least for me. All right, and here we go, friends. We're gonna do this. And we're gonna come up with a better name. And well, you know, me Meteors isn't a terrible name. Hmm. Asteroids? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I've gotta give this more thought. Maybe asteroids is better. Okay, also, let's see. So we're gonna wiggle down a little, I think. Yeah. 
over here. Alright, yeah, we're still headed across the top. And then we're going to take a sharp right in a little bit here. There's one of the drones. Did I find that drone already? I think I did. Because this, this area is rife with cars. Alright. You know, maybe I do like the name Meteor. <laughs> I just, I keep going back and forth on it. Oh boy. Okay, ambition. Ambition. Oh. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. Yo, for a second there, I thought my ambition was definitely a lot bigger than my jetpack. Uh, but we made it in the end. Literally, probably by, like, the skin of our teeth or whatnot. All right. There we go. So where are you, my friend? I think... Did I find him over here? I started doing a whole bunch of exploring. I remember... Aha! Uh -huh, we found him again! Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're actually going to, like, achieve what I've set out to do in a day. You, you, sir, you, like, or ma'am, it, they have no, you have no idea, no idea how rare this is, friend. Actually being able to achieve what I set out to do. Oh, I probably brought way too much food. Or not. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Wow! That was exciting! This is also exciting! Yes! We're up! We're up, friends! Alright, let's check out all of these little ledges! Tell me your secrets! Okay, okay. Where am I? Where am I? Okay, I already know these guys' secrets. Um... And I know that we actually have... Oh, look, there's one of the trees for the bat slimes over there. Okay, so I think maybe I'll go back that direction. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go back this direction. Because I think this direction might take me where I want to go. Into that big waterway. Who knows, maybe having all this extra food is going to be very beneficial for me. Well, this is lava-y, huh? Normal slimes. Oh. It's paradise. It is so beautiful. There's just cubberries falling into the water. I just saw what I'm pretty sure is a honey tree. Or, excuse me, like a beehive. <sighs> Up here. Oh, I can't wait to be able to get teleporters. <laughs> Hello, you. So, buzzwax. We have just collected. This is so cute. And then uh, I wonder, do you go inside of the waterfall? Or, okay, oh, this is it. Oh, hi. Okay, so we can get the buzz wax. And then we have all the little adorable puddle slimes. I'm not going to complain about that. There's nothing behind this little waterfall. Oh! There's got to be more. I, 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 I just... I feel like there's got to be a little bit more hiding somewhere. And we're going to find the answers to it somehow. This is... This is... It, it, it's just... A little bit too pretty. And I'm suspicious. And I mean, there's like normal slimes here. When do we ever see normal slimes anymore? All right, what about over here? Maybe I need to investigate like the buzzwax area a little bit more. Normal slime, mm-hmm. Hmm. Whoa, can I actually jump to the volcano? I, no. No, you can't actually. Don't, look at that. You see that, Siri? That. That feeling that you have when you stare down at there and you go, mm, maybe not. You listen to that. You listen to that because, oh, oh yeah, oh, that's fine. You just now get to watch rocks pummel down <sighs> while you are going ahead and uh, standing on the edge. Totally fine. All right, what's up here? Give me your secrets. Give me your secrets. There has to be a secret up here. 
Okay. Risking certain death and doom. Constantly. Making the jump. Boy, you gotta have a little bit of, like, sass to go ahead and have confidence in just using jetpacks like this, I think. Okay. Huh. Oh, is there something over there? I think there's something over there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's a tabby! <gasps> Whoa, okay. <laughs> we found a tabby, friends! Also, what the heck is that? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. We are finding some things. Being able to be up high definitely is giving us a new view. Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. Okay. 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 Um, there's a lot. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going on right there. <laughs> look at all those blocks. <laughs> what the heck? Why do I have to have the great hen hen sacrifice twice now? They all want my hen hens. Oh. When I left the ranch, when I left my home, I thought that somehow I would prove myself. That I would prove to my parents that my choice was the right one, and they would forgive me for not continuing their legacy. But that's not how it worked out. And before I started my journey, I heard that they had sold the ranch, and I just couldn't face them. So I left again without seeing them. I regret that choice every day. I wish I could have said goodbye. Okay. Reading such serious things while staring at a cat that I must sacrifice my chickens to. <sighs> Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> well, the good news is we have indeed found a bunch of new sections by jumping around up here. This definitely... I swear I saw something down here. Was it just that rock? I could have sworn I saw something over here that we could go ahead and maybe yoink, but maybe not. Hello, friends. And then here is the pomegranate. Okay. Oops. Yeah, as fun as... I'm going to let the puddle ports go. <gasps> and we've got the pomegranate! It was just right over my head. Oh, hello, you. <laughs> it was just right over my head the whole time, too. Huh. And I feel like there's got to be a little bit more. Oh, are these more pomegranates? Sure enough! The bat's favorite food was hiding here the whole time! Well, now we can go ahead and get another garden going. I probably should go ahead and build a silo, because maybe the key is to have a garden with just some things sometimes, and then fill up like 100% on those in your silo, and then go ahead and swap it out next time. Huh. All right. Well, the good news, we did manage to go ahead and open up this geyser. And that did take us to a... How do you even get that radiant? What? And, and, and you know, the geyser did actually take us to a new place. So we did find the beautiful, uh, the beautiful waterfall on top. And we did find potentially a place where I could jump over to the volcanic area. Um, but we didn't find the deep brine that I'm looking for. And yes, maybe I could just, you know, phone a friend. Uh, but it's so much more fulfilling to be able to go ahead and just try to find the answers for yourself. Uh, but, ooh, treasure chest, treasure chest! Come back. Because then you have fun things like that. Unexpected treasure chest that you stumble upon. Oh, wait a second, I don't think I've been over here. Hello, shiny. What are we getting from this? Sunfire daisies! It's recommended to wear eye protection when staring straight into the center of these daisies. All right, that makes me pretty happy too. Huh. Well, I wonder what else I'm gonna discover over here. Or if we just need to go ahead and Unfortunately, focus on perhaps saying goodbye to a lot of our hen hens and having to trust that the sacrifice would be worth it. Hmm. Alright, well... Every nook and cranny and two gigantic gordos waiting to have their sacrifice of chickens. And we do have a whole nother island that we can go ahead and explore too. I know I've been neglecting it a little bit, but there's just so much to see here. Hmm. 
Oh, that's the bat slime. That's what they mean by pings. Wow, that was really cool. Hi, little ones. Please don't turn into tar while I'm going ahead and just enjoying your company. But all right, guys, I'm gonna do a little bit more exploring. And if I'm not able to find anything else very unique, then next time we are together, I think we're gonna have to go ahead and prepare for the great hen hen sacrifice. So, if you guys could, do please leave a like for our poor little hen hens and for, you know, secret waterfalls on top of a mountain. I really can't complain too much about that. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.